The fourth round of the Middle East Rally Championship, the 32nd running of the Rally of Lebanon, would see 33 cars start. The event ran from the 3rd to the 5th of July. A great deal of focus of this rally, though, was on the winner of the Syrian international, Yazid al Raji. In second in the championship before this event, Raji finished the 2008 Rally of Lebanon in fourth. The 2009 Rally of Lebanon began in front of the municipality building in Juni. The event would include a new 36-kilometer stage and be made up of six competitive sections repeated twice. The absence of the reigning champion, Nasser al Atiyah, laid the ground for an intriguing tussle for the lead of the 2009 series. Second in both the Kuwait and Syrian rounds, Qatari Misfa al Murray with Chris Patterson began as first on the road, but an early puncture saw the championship leaders drop from contention and retire before the end of the rally. Second in the 2008 Rally of Lebanon, Nick Giorgio and Joseph Mata, who finished fourth in Syria, were expected to do well here. But a turbo pipe comes loose in the opening two stages and they puncture in the third, dropping the Lebanese pairing into 17th. However, Giorgio began an impressive fight back and was up into 10th by the end of the first day. The undisputed king, though, of this particular tarmac event, Roger Fagali, now with Nabil Najem, be looking to win this rally for an unprecedented seventh time. Fagali led by a staggering six minutes after the first day. Seeded ninth, Lebanon's Gilbert Banut, third in the 2008 Rally of Lebanon, would go on to claim second in 2009, but would not take points as he is not registered in the championship. In the opening day, it was the Qatari Mubarak al Hajri with Adil Hussein in the Motortune prepared Subaru, who was the leading registered driver. In second overall, Hajri would eventually slip into fifth, but taking points and keeping him in equal fourth in the series. The intentions of Al Raji with Matthew Bormel on their first tarmac rally in the Kronos prepared Peugeot 207 S2000 car were clear. After a tentative start, Al Raji would climb four places in the first day, up into six overall, but, like others, had been slowed by punctures. On his first drive in Lebanon, seeded 18th, the young Qatari Khalid al Sawedi, on only his second drive with the UK's Nick Beach, would take points for the second time in two events, finishing as the fourth registered driver, while a sensational effort by the 36th seeded first-time Saudi competitor Saeed Al Mori with Amar Rafai would see them move up into 12th overall at one point before being forced out with a blown turbo. Almost effortlessly over the last six stages of the rally, Fagali extended his lead. The fifth seed went on to win every stage of the 2009 Rally of Lebanon. In the final day, Nick Giorgio, who had earlier slipped to 17th, would come out fighting, climbing 13 places to stake his claim on 4th overall, but as the second highest placed registered driver, Giorgio took points for the second time in two events, enough to bring him up into equal 4th in the championship with Mubarak al Hajri. The final day saw the 10th seeded Yazid al Raji make an all out attack beginning the final six stages in sixth overall, the Saudi driver convincingly caught the one registered driver ahead of him as well as several Lebanese competitors to finish in third overall, but as the first Middle East registered driver. Back in Juni, Roger Fagali would celebrate a record seventh win of the Rally of Lebanon, underlining his total dominance of this rally, winning by a staggering margin of over 10 minutes. But Yazid Al Raji and Matthew Bormel would take maximum championship points, finishing in third overall. But as the first registered driver, the 10 points would be enough to elevate Al Raji into the lead of the Middle East series for the first time. <laughs>